The scattered rain showers we were dealing with earlier this morning continuing to exit off to our east, but it's leaving us with a lot of cloud cover across mid Michigan. Temperatures currently at 51 degrees in Lansing and St. John's 54 our current temperature in Mason. We will hold on to this cloud cover as we go throughout the rest of the day, but the good news is it is going to clear up just in time for the weekend. I'll have some more details in just a bit. Six News at Noon starts right now. WLNS is here for you with six news at noon. The campaign trail is winding through the Lone Star State today with both presidential candidates stumping in Texas. It's our top story at noon. Happy Friday and thank you for joining us. I'm Megan Vaselli. Texas isn't a battleground state, but each candidate will use a different approach there to appeal to voters in the final days of campaigning. Nicole Skanga is here for you now with the latest from the campaign trail. Former President Donald Trump is focusing his final pitch to voters on his signature issue, the border. Kamala's migrant invasion given to us through gross incompetence disqualifies her from even thinking about being president. We can't let that happen. Trump is in Austin today to tape a podcast with Joe Rogan. The comedian has one of the most popular podcasts, especially among men, a demographic Trump has extensively targeted. Get your husband. Hank, get the hell out of the couch, Hank. Get up, get that big fat <laughs> of you. We're going to... We're going to go and vote for the president. Vice President Kamala Harris is also in Texas today, a state her campaign doesn't expect to win, but they're calling it the ground zero of the anti-abortion movement and think highlighting reproductive rights will help them win the battleground states. One in three women lives in a state with a Trump abortion ban. Harris leaned into star power at last night's rally in Atlanta with Tyler Perry, Spike Lee, Samuel L. Jackson, and Bruce Springsteen. I'm casting my vote for Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. She's making the case that Trump is only interested in vengeance, not the people. It's either Donald Trump in there stewing, stewing over his enemies list, or me working for you. Tonight in Houston, she'll get help from the Beehive when Beyonce joins her on stage. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, the White House. Willie Nelson and Jessica Alba also will join VP Harris on stage tonight, as will Democratic Senate candidate Colin Allred, who is in a tight race to unseat Republican Ted Cruz. Former President Trump is making a two-day trip to Michigan. Tonight, he'll speak at Traverse City's Cherry Capital Airport before holding a rally tomorrow at Suburban Showplace in Novi. On the other side of the ticket, former First Lady Michelle Obama will join VP Harris tomorrow for get-out-the-vote rallies in Kalamazoo and Detroit. Two teenagers were hospitalized when a car hit their Amish buggy in Hillsdale County. The sheriff's office says it happened around 11 o'clock yesterday morning in Woodbridge Township. Deputies say a man was driving north on Hillsdale Road when he hit the buggy that was also heading north. He told them he didn't see it because of a shadow covering the road. The 19-year-old driver of the buggy and a 14-year-old passenger both were taken to the hospital for treatment. The man who hit them didn't get hurt. An update now on the E. coli outbreak linked to McDonald's. The CDC now reports two people in Michigan have been sickened as well. These are the first cases here in our state. Health officials say the outbreak is linked to McDonald's quarter pounder hamburgers and it is being described as fast moving. So far, more than 50 people have gotten sick, with at least 10 of those being hospitalized and one person even died. McDonald's believes the outbreak is tied to the onions it uses on these burgers. The Michigan Military and Veterans Hall of Honor will host an induction ceremony this afternoon to recognize a dozen service members and veterans. Organizers say the ceremony honors those who have distinguished themselves in uniform, as well as veterans who've done extraordinary civic and community service. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer and the state's U.S. Senators are expected to attend this induction ceremony. It starts at 1230 at the Michigan History Museum in Lansing. 
Later today, Lansing City officials will unveil the brand new pickleball courts. They're at Lansing's Clifford Park on East Mount Hope Street. That's where today's ribbon cutting ceremony will open them up officially. It starts at 4 o'clock this afternoon and Lansing Mayor Andy Shore will help christen the new courts with a friendly game. Michigan State University now is calling on fans to help it get on the leaderboard of a blood donation competition against other Big Ten schools. It's called the We Give Blood Drive and the winning Big Ten school will get a $1 million award for student and community health. Plus, individual donors will get a free one-month subscription to Big Ten Plus and be entered to win a trip to the championship game. Michigan State's blood drive is Wednesday at the Breslin Student Event Center. Well, the parties and trunk or treats already have started and Six News is here for you with everything Halloween. Our team made a list of family friendly Halloween events happening in mid Michigan and you can find it on our website WLNS.com. This includes tomorrow night's trick or treat on the square in downtown Lansing, which goes from five to seven. And of course, be sure to stop by Six News on Halloween night where we'll be handing out treats here at the station on East Saginaw Street. Plus, you can upload your Halloween pictures and we might just use them on air. To do so, just head to our website. From Storm Tracker 6, this is Weather First, sponsored by Auto Owners Insurance. Simple human sense. We started our Friday with a couple of scattered sprinkles across the area, but yet again our rainfall totals, especially here in mid-Michigan, remain incredibly unimpressive. Most of our precipitation totals as of right now remain below a tenth of an inch. That's compared to what we have off to our west, closing in on three tenths of an inch in both Grand Rapids and then over towards the Kalamazoo area as well. Good news is we are done with any chance for rain as we move throughout the rest of our Friday. Satellite and radar shows those scattered sprinkles continuing to exit off to our east, but notice we still remained under some very dense cloud cover and these gloomy conditions are going to continue as we move throughout the rest of the day. Good news is there is an area of high pressure to our west and as that begins to move closer, it's going to help to clear all of this cloud cover up as we move throughout the overnight hours and help it stick around for the weekend, which does look like it is going to be incredibly beautiful. The one downside is though we are going to feel the effects of this cold front as we move throughout our Saturday, but still those high temperatures by then will be fairly tra on track for this time of year. On Precision Cast, notice we remain mostly cloudy as we go throughout the rest of the day. Our cloud cover decreases overnight tonight, and we have nothing but sunshine in the forecast for Saturday, and a very similar setup will remain in place as we move throughout the day on Sunday, with mostly sunny conditions still remaining in place across basically the entire lower peninsula. Our rainfall chances will begin to increase as we move into early next week. It does look like there's going to be a weak area of low pressure tracking into mid Michigan as we move throughout the early morning hours of the day on Tuesday, bringing us another very brief round of precipitation. But yet again, overall, it looks like our rainfall totals are going to remain well below that half of an inch mark outside right now. Again, still incredibly gloomy, but given the fact that we have had this cloud cover in place for the bulk of our Friday thus far, temperatures are still fairly impressive already in the low 50s. It is a little bit on the windy side of things, though. Current winds at 13 miles per hour coming out of the west south west. Similar situation in Grand Ledge, their rainfall total currently at a tenth of an inch with a peak wind gust of 16 miles per hour. Over in downtown Jackson, yet again holding on to those overcast conditions. Temperatures currently at 53 degrees, rainfall total at seven hundredths of an inch, and winds are currently at 11 miles per hour coming out of the southwest. We have a little bit of sunshine over in Hillsdale right now. Rainfall total just shy of 15 hundredths of an inch, and temperatures are currently right at 51 degrees. We will warm up into the upper 50s as we move throughout the rest of the day. Overnight tonight, our cloud cover will begin to decrease and our overnight lows are going to fall down into the mid to upper 30s. Six day forecast yet again shows that even despite the amount of sunshine that we are going to have for the weekend, temperatures are still going to be in the mid to upper 50s. Good news is though we are going to be warming things up as we move into next week. Those high temperatures on Tuesday and Wednesday all the way up into the mid to upper 70s. Good news is it still looks like we are going to be well above average even for Halloween. All right, perfect, Kendall. Thank you so much.